This is a demonstration on how to install the ruggedized kit on an Argus display. This is the Argus AAD display that was standard from 2006 to 2010. Flat display. The display itself is right in line with the, the, rem the remainder of the remote control. The button is inset. The ruggedized kit includes a black metal faceplate, stainless steel button, and a tube of superglue. To install the ruggedized kit, you'll take the superglue, carefully put five small dots of superglue across the top, one on the right side, and then five evenly spaced dots of superglue along the bottom, and one on the left side. Once you've placed your dots of superglue, take your stainless steel button, place it right over the inset button that is currently there, right over the Argus logo. There's no super glue that goes underneath the button. It's allowed to move freely on top of the existing inset button. Take your face plate, which has two sides. One has a small cutout for the back of the button that faces down. Put that directly over the display, keeping the button centered over the existing button, keeping the actual display centered within the black metal faceplate, and hold firmly for a minimum of five seconds. Then allow it to dry for another five minutes. Test turning on the unit. Everything turns on. You're good to go. Avacom asks that you wait a half hour before placing this back in your rig. What you have when this is all complete is a metal faceplate that protects the liquid display there. Uh, for packing or use or what have you when the uh, display is in your rig, uh, the old Argus displays without this ruggedized kit were more susceptible to damage. Um, the displays from 2010 and on now comes standard with the ruggedized kit, but any display made before 2010 uh, will not have the kit. Highly recommend getting the kit as a uh, low cost insurance to keep from having to spend $335 for a new Argus display. The kit is approximately $99 and fairly easy to install. So there you go.